Hi, Karen Wells, Independent Sensory Consultant Australia. It's been a while and this is my first haul for uh, 2023, which is actually amazing, but anyway. Um, it's a combination of a, a, a couple of orders. I've been sitting on it for a while. I have got a substantial um, collection of wax and Scentsy products and um, I don't need to order a lot these days. So a lot of my customers are online. Um, I've had a few things in the last couple of months. Uh, last video was probably October. I've had a few things come uh, for customers and it's only been uh, you know, a couple of items. So, um, and I haven't really been up to making uh, videos. I've been MIA due to a couple of health cha challenges um, that have sort of knocked me for six. Hopefully I'm on track and um, you'll see a bit more of me. And I'd like to thank those who have reached out and have been concerned. Uh, it's lovely, thank you very much. Uh, the Sensi community is is lovely and uh, so is the YouTube for, for me, my, in my experience, it has been anyway. Let's get started. The first order that I had um, was a combination of Bring Back My Bar from January and also the Valentine's collection. So we'll start off with that. The Valentine's collection has three, basically three fragrances and they have a number of items that have come in uh, these, not everything, um, but the three fragrances are sort of scattered across certain items. And um, one of the things that came in um, Pink Sunshine is the fragrance flower. That's actually an, an empty box. Um, I've actually opened it a couple of hours ago just so that you could actually see it. So when you get the box, you actually have a jar of oil um, which comes with a top that's actually got an identifying uh, label on it and a stopper. And the flower, the fragrance flower actually comes in its own little, I've got oil on there, own little container. And one thing I was going to say, on the stem, it's in the bottom of the box now, isn't it? There is a piece of paper like, it's live guys, it's live. <laughs> okay, so the box. So here we are. I've actually got a jar of oil and the fragrance flower. So the thing about this is not only is it fragranced, it's actually colored, which is gorgeous. Now you can actually see that the solar wood, this is actually um, a root of a plant. So it actually absorbs oil very quickly. Um, as you can see, the stem was the same color as the flower and it is starting to color. At the bottom of this stem, there's this paper, sort of like a stopper. And if you don't actually take this off the stem, it actually delays the oil coming up to the flower. So I was hoping that it'd be a little bit more advanced than it is, but you can see that the oil is actually coming up the stem and starting to color the flower. So um, I've got, heaps of empties because I haven't done that empties video for a very long time. So um, I might actually give you an update when I do the empties, which will be soon. Okay, so that is Pink Sunshine in the Fragrance Flower. And Pink Sunshine is Lush Pear, Plum, Cashmere and Rose Milk. Well, I actually don't get very much of that at all which is, and I'm sort of wondering whether, uh, my initial thoughts was, is that really what it's, you know, pink sunshine? And I don't get lush pear, although to me, it just smells like apple, which is interesting. <laughs> so I've got the pink sunshine in the fragrance flower. I've also got it in one of these travel twists 
which I actually quite like. Um, and they, they don't have a sticky thing on them. So I guess you could probably put um, a two-sided tape on there, but it's got a little marker on there that allows you to open it. Um, one star is a little bit of fragrance. And then the five stars is right open. But I guess if you want it to, to last a long time, you would only open, well, I guess you could open it full blast while you were actually fragrancing whatever you want. To, and it would be a small area. Um, probably this would be great in a bag, in a handbag or a travel bag, or actually you could probably put it in your console, in your car, and, um, and it would probably work really well. So anyway, so Pinch Sunshine, Sunshine also comes in a travel twist. And then there's the wax, which is a lovely sort of a pinky corally color. Now, as I said, all I get is apple in this. And it's sort of like pears on there as well. So that's lush pear, plum, cashmere, and um, rose milk. Hmm. Not what I get, but each nose is different. So the other fragrance that's pink is Sunburst Sky. And I've got that in the... Um, Scentsy pods, which go in your fan diffusers, either your mini fan diffuser or your wall fan diffuser and um, your air purifier. And I don't have an air purifier, purifier. It also comes in a wax. So that's pretty. It's got clouds and things on it. A very pale pink wax. So... For Starburst Sky, it's sweet apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, and amber blossom. And the funny thing is, I think that this smells more like Pink Sunshine description than the Starburst Sky. And again, that's just my opinion. And fragrance is a very personal thing. But... um. It's interesting. I don't actually get sweet apple, whipped vanilla and creamy coconut and amber blossom. I get more of the lush pear, plum, cashmere. And it's sort of like powdery, like the rose milk would be. But anyway, that's just me. Maybe there's something wrong with my nose, but you know. And that's a possibility. <laughs> the other thing, other fragrance is... Clementine Blossom, which is a lovely orangey wax. And Clementine Blossom is golden citrus, pink nectar, and sugar blossom. I don't know what sugar blossom is, but I guess it's a sweetness. This is my favourite. I actually love this fragrance. It's very pretty. It also comes in a gnome. A Scentsy Buddy clip called Nelly. G-N-E-L-L-Y. Ganelli. <laughs> you know how I am with gnomes. They're just beautiful. Now, because it's a Valentine's, I don't know why you get gnome for Valentine's, but anyway, got heart all over them. Heart on his hat. Has he got heart in his sleeves as well? I think, I think they're tiny little hearts on his sleeve as well. Don't know whether he's a girl or a boy. Do they have... They must have girl gnomes as well. They've changed the uh, hanging uh, apparatus for the buddy clips so that you can hang them on your bag. You can, I actually use mine mainly to hang on the uh, little hook that's in the passenger side at back on my in my car. And Clementine Blossom, he doesn't actually smell strongly i'm sure once i put him in the car he'll be fine but that is golden citrus pink nectar and sugar blossom and as i said it is my favorite fragrance isn't he cute he's just so gorgeous and uh, it also came in a larger scentsy buddy um which was um is it benny boo the the bear and look 
my collection of Scentsy Buddies almost rivals my Scentsy Wax collection. So, buddy clip. <laughs> okay, then we talk about more wax. Now, just recently, I have not been getting the scent of the month um, consultants pack. As a consultant, you're able to get the scent of the month the previous month and um, send out samples and that sort of thing. And during November and December, was it October as well? Anyway, a lot of them were quite wintry scents because they are a US company. They they were going through winter. They you know, and even though we were going through Christmas, our Christmas is very different. Um, and I'm not a real big tree fragrance lover. And there were a couple that um, didn't swell. Well, they didn't sell well for me anyway. And um, you get eight bars plus stickers and uh, I decided not to get the scent of the month. So for the last uh, probably three scent of the month, I didn't actually get anything from them. But this January came through with one that wasn't tree based and it sort of sounded quite summery and it was pineapple rose. Now, pineapple is not something that I particularly gravitate to but it says sweet pineapple Maya lemon and blush rose and uh, it's a very pretty diagram on there so it's a lovely yellow wax now I only got two and I've actually melt been melting this and it's an unusual fragrance and it's quite pretty um, it to me it doesn't smell like pineapple not a fruity pineapple and maybe it's because it's got the rose. It's quite a pretty fragrance and I quite like it. Um, I'm certainly pleased that I didn't actually get the full scent of the month um, because it's not, I don't think I'll buy any more um, pineapple rose. That's the scent of the month for January. Then I also have some bring back my bars and you know, I'm gonna sound like I'm whinger here, but I didn't actually like a lot of the Bring Back My Bars in January that were available. So I actually only bought the ones that I'd tried, uh, that I knew I liked and wanted more of. And uh, one that I actually, can't, I can't remember whether I've tried it or not. And I've been really very fortunate while with friend swaps and um, random acts of kindness with wax gifts of wax and tried a lot from other regions so i did have quite a lot of knowledge about the ones that came out so these are the ones from the current bring back my bars that i've decided to uh to buy whether i put them in my scentsy club oh and that was the other thing i actually cancelled my scentsy club oh i know it was like i was in two minds um december I've been on sick leave, so I haven't actually been working as much as I usually did. Money um, became something that I needed to actually consider. So I had a very large three-monthly Scentsy Club, so I cancelled it. It took me a couple of months to decide to do that, but I did do it. And I don't know whether I'll start it up again. There are a few fragrances, a couple of fragrances in the current Bring Back My Bars that I would like more of. And um, I think that Bring Back, I think the only way that I can get them once they've actually sold out, and I don't, I haven't actually looked to see whether they've sold out, is put them in your Scentsy Club and then you can have them sent to you as often or um, you can only do it once if you wish or you can have it sent to you forever. I mean, that's, the beauty of Scentsy Club, uh, it is so flexible. Anyway, the wax that I've decided to get was um, Satin Sheets. I can't, I don't know when this was available in Australia, but I've actually received it, as I said, from um, Friendswap. Beautiful white wax. This is lovely. It's right up my alley. It's sandalwood and vanilla, and I absolutely love sandalwood and vanilla. It is lovely. It is very light, and perhaps it is a slightly 
uh, it is slightly masculine and that would be the sandalwood but the vanilla is very pretty I like this it's, um, and I've actually mixed it with other things as well so um, satin sheets is one that I will actually I will definitely purchase some more of then one of I tried in a D stash is um, blonde wood and moonflower Mm -mm -mm. very pretty pale wood amber moonflower lilies and white roses sort of like a sandalwoody color and it is very light but it is very pretty the bar that i got was a really old 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 bar this is a lovely newly poured bar and you can tell because it has all the little uh scent representatives i forget what they call gosh I should have had a look perhaps. Um, but pale wood, amber, moonflower, lilies and white roses. I, lilies can scare people off. Roses can scare people off. They don't scare me off. But this is lovely. It's really nice. Definitely get more of blonde wood and moonflower. Then we've got mocha doodle. And this is an old bar, sadly, um, from a previous uh, Bring Back My Bar. And it is... Coffee beans, cocoa, sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. We don't get enough coffee scents. I am an avid coffee drinker. Love the smell of fresh coffee. And there are a couple of fragrances that I've been able to get in vendor wax. The only thing is, I, when, vendor wax is not as nice to handle as Scentsy Wax. Um, Scentsy Wax is paraffin wax. And um, it's... For me, easy to clean out of your warmers. It melts at a very low temperature, so the Scentsy warmers do particularly well. Um, this is actually quite nice. I, can't, I must have had Mocha Doodle at some other stage. Um, lovely brown. Um, and it's maybe the chocolate that I don't really like in it, um, but you can actually mix it with um, a vanilla scent if you've got... Um, simply vanilla in your collection there are a couple of other vanilla scents that you can mix it with what have we got at the moment we've got vanilla waves which is slightly salty and caramel but anyway a um, mocha doodle i don't know whether i'll get another one of these but i am definitely going to mix it try mixing it so mocha doodle then we've got um berries jubilee which is a a red wax and I've actually tried this one because I opened it and it's got a funky sort of smell to me fresh picked berries whipped cream and creamy vanilla and I don't get that at all this is a, another freshly poured bar so it's you know relatively fresh for this bring back my bar it's got a really odd smell to it and I mean there have been other strawberry smells uh, fragrances that I've had through Scentsy that have not been to my liking, but it's sort of waxy plastic. Oh. So sadly, this will not be a repurchase. Berry's Jubilee, my nose just doesn't like it. And as I said before, this is just my nose over the page. Then we have Blackberry Cheer. Oh, I'm so pleased that this came back. Love this one. This was, um, was it the Garden Collection or something like that anyway? They had a whole lot of, um, bit, uh, you know, like coconut and um, blackberry and that sort of thing. This is gorgeous. Blackberry, which is a beautiful purple wax as well, which I, I also like. And it's an old bar. So I wouldn't mind betting. I can't see the pour date on this one. But I wouldn't mind betting that it's probably fairly, I think it was 2019. Must have been one of the first collections that I experienced. Um, but anyway, I've only been buying Scentsy since 2018. But Blackberry Cheer, love this one. And it doesn't have that burnt um, blackberry that I quite often um get with blackberry fragrances mulled blackberries maya lemon and vanilla chiffon love this one i will get more of those then we have snowberry <laughs> and again this is one that i've tried probably from either a d stash or from the clearance section years ago 
absolutely loved it sat in my collection for months it's a another sort of like a creamy white and i haven't opened this one um sat in my collection for a really long time and i didn't try it and then when i tried it i thought oh gosh i wish i'd got more of these love this one loganberry strawberry peppermint and cin cinnamon excuse me i don't get that at all um i just the, it mixes really well it's a beautiful combination absolutely love it this is a brand new bar as well so um, i will definitely got more of um, snowberry love that i do find it's a love or hate fragrance though which is which is funny well it's not really and then i've got vanilla suede a lovely brown wax and this is vanilla rich amber sandalwood and spice i love this one is this one opened no it's not but it's sort of got a funky the top sort of didn't didn't fit properly oh okay so it's on that end <laughs> and oh, difficult anyway I love this one. This is beautiful, very nice. And again, I think I've tried this through a friend swap, but um, I will definitely get more of these as well. It's quite masculine, but not really a, um, it's a bit sensual really, so I like those ones. Then we come to uh, a preview of the scent of the month for February, 2023, and it's called pink coconut it's interesting how just recently we've got a few things that are pink pink this pink that and it's sort of like a sort of a peachy color and the scent notes on um, pink coconut are sweet strawberry pink clay creamy coconut and subtle tahitian vanilla so i've actually uh, got one of these in my empties because whenever i get um, a new scent of the month. I like to make samples and um, try it out. Usually use a whole bar um, in a fairly, you know, enclosed space in my unit. And this is very light. And I was sort of hoping it was going to be a bit like Willow and Pink Clay. Is that what it is? A scent of the month that we had sort of mid last year. And um, oh, it is so, so light. It is quite pretty. Um, I don't, I don't know, it's hard to say. Sweet strawberry, pink clay, creamy coconut, and subtle vanilla. I think, I think they've just put a bit too much vanilla in it personally. Um, and it is quite pretty. It's certainly a pretty colour. <laughs> and... Um, Pink coconut, something to look forward to in um, in February. So there you go. That's it. So I've got my, I did actually get the whole consultant pack. So I've got, you know, lots of it. And uh, also my stickers, um, which are very cute. They go on your post outs and that sort of thing if you're a consult, uh, consultant. All right, no worries. We'll just have a look, another quick look at the flower. Nothing's sort of coming through. Oh, it might be. I'll see if I can show you how it's coming through. Can you see how it's, oh, it's very faint, but it's sort of coming through and colouring the flower. Anyway, as I said, um, the video's gone on for long enough, so I'll actually uh, update you in my empties. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.